what's up what's up what's up youtube it's your boy chris Lee tv back again with another video um i'm back in my truck for the week everything got repaired um all all the cooling stuff got repaired it was like 500 dollars to get this stuff repaired and um we've been smooth selling i need to go and check my cooling in the morning and make sure everything's good still um, over here, like trying to clean up my truck and like straighten it up. So like it, you see, it's like a lot of stuff everywhere. But I've been trying to like clean the floor off and stuff like that pretty good. So like everything up there has been like disinfected and uh, I swept and stuff like that. I'm just trying to organize this truck. I got a load. It's a pretty good paying load going down like to South Texas, like towards Laredo. So it's a good pretty good pretty paint like good good paying load but um when i got to my shipper it wasn't ready i actually got here late but i got here late and it, it wasn't ready so i'm gonna get loaded tomorrow uh deliver on time still i still got enough time to get this load there it's only like 700 miles uh, so i got enough time to get the load there on time get it there and then i'm gonna go like uh home for the weekend and chill and like uh work on some things i've been pretty tied up I have my fan on in here because I'm gonna I'm not gonna idle the truck I'm gonna try not to it's kind of humid where I'm at but I don't want to waste fuel so I'm gonna see it's like 74 degrees but it's very humid <sighs> but this fuel like got me thinking outside the box these fuel prices I'm not trying to you know keep paying all this money and whatnot so yeah I'm gonna try and idle the truck I gotta sneeze <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna keep y'all updated with what's going on throughout the week uh so far so good um no issues really i've been getting my loads i've had this will be my third load for the week and then uh, once i drop this one off i'll get another one and that'll probably go on next week's paycheck but yeah i'll keep y'all posted oh my god all right y'all so i just had the worst thing happen this can exploded on me I did not do the smartest thing in the world. If you look, it exploded everywhere. Every freaking where in the truck, behind this curtain, there's beans, potatoes, corn, sauce from the soup, just on everything. And um, this happened because I had a can of soup. That can of soup. It's been heating up for about four hours. And it's cold as heck in my cab, in the truck. I'm gonna turn this camera around. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna turn the camera around because I have on a bonnet and clothes. And all of my clothes have food on them. And I have burns on my arms. I have a towel on my arm right now. But if you look like the, this is the hand that opened the soup. That's like, I'm starting to wilt up. This is the hand that opened it. It's like, it was like really, really uh, sore not too long ago. But I have a cold towel on my arm, uh, just trying to keep it from swelling up. Because this was damn near a bomb that I set off on myself inside of the truck like you see it went everywhere look at it's on my bed on my pillow like everywhere I'm, is my truck's gonna smell like amy's uh potato soup for like ever i have to get all this cleaned up um like it's just it's ridiculous so i, well, I was i was sleeping i was sleeping good i was sleeping so good and I like started to wake up and I was like, I have food, I'm getting hungry, I have food that's hot. And I need to get it and I need to eat it. And that was the only thing on my mind while I'm in this like food sleep haze, right? So I wake up and I grab the can with this towel. This towel used to be white, it used to be white right there. I grab the can and the can I put it there I get something to open it because it's hot and I swear to you not the second it hissed 
there was a huge explosion. Boom. Everywhere. My arm is on fire. Um, it got on my face, my arm, my clothes, and my head. My glasses were covered in soup. And uh, I'll be back because my arm is killing me. Jesus. All right, so I don't want to put too much of my arm on the camera, but I did put some cocoa butter on it. That's all I had. Um, shoot, I'm trying to clean up as best as I can for right now. Uh, it looks a little better in here. Still got some work to do, but I think I'm going to just chill for the night. I took some Tylenol. I don't know if I said that already. But I took some Tylenol for the pain because it's really painful. Um, Living you learn. Soup everywhere. I swear, it's, it felt. I feel like I'm. I wish I could go back to sleep. And uh, you know, what it is, what it is. I wish this was a dream. But tomorrow, shoot, we'll uh, get something to wrap this arm up. I have to tarp this load is going to be really painful doing that my hand feels like it's swelling up um but i have to get this load it's crazy things you have to do out here on the road to keep moving and keep pushing uh, this is one of those things that just so happened to happen unfortunately i was holding that bottle i'm gonna probably put it back in my hand yeah, I'm gonna go, guys. Uh, yeah, I'll update you guys tomorrow. What's up, what's up, YouTube? Uh, so we have gone on, today is Friday. Um, the truck has been running really weird. Um, it's like when I stop the truck, uh, it doesn't wanna turn back on, so I don't know what the issue is now. It's been like a really weird week. A lot of stuff has been happening, you know what I'm saying? With the truck repairs, the the soup bomb the second degree burns um you know but it's always like an up and down cycle out here you gotta have to be positive um even on the bad days you gotta keep pushing i had to tarp this load of lumber uh like the night that i recorded that video um i was at the shipper so i woke up and um you know i had to get to work i got my tarps out wrapped my arm up um, I went and got some gauze and some Neosporin, uh, wrap my arm up. This is kind of like, uh, you know, those little black spots right there. Those have Neosporin on them, but uh, the under the gauze is like that times maybe 20. Um, I'm surprised this hand didn't like blister up. Like this hand got hit really hard, but it didn't blister up. So we're good. Got my tarps out, like I said. Um, they put the load of lumber on my truck. Uh, put the tarps on top. I went and tarped the truck. Um, it was painful. I did take some Tylenol and uh, you know to, to relieve some of that pain. Uh, but everything has been good so far. I'm headed to South Texas and whatnot. It's very hot out here. Um, made sure to drop that. Put my suntan lotion on. Make sure you guys are putting on your suntan lotion. It's getting hotter out here. It's getting crazy out here. Uh, right now, it's uh, probably like 90 degrees where I'm at. 87 is going to be there, like 105 or whatever. Yesterday, I saw 107. But make sure you're protecting your skin, you know what I'm saying, doing all that good stuff, especially me with what I got going on. But I want people to know, people know a couple things. In Atlanta, uh, I will be attending a seminar with Three Rivers Trucking School. Um, there's going to be a lot of heavy hitters there guys need to check it out it's going to be in september uh, so you have some time to kind of plan it out i do want to see y'all there um i want to meet my uh my people on youtube i want to meet y'all in real life i'm also doing uh spaces on twitter it's like a clubhouse for twitter right it's called twitter spaces it's where you come in you talk about different topics i'll be talking about how to get a cdo and uh, how cdo changed my life and things like that um, I'm looking forward to talking to people to hear about their experience, how CDL changed their life, and just answering questions um, for to people who want to get a CDL. CDL has been a big topic on Twitter for the past week or so. I want to uh, grow on that. I want to make this so that CDL Twitter is a thing. 
and uh, I want to talk to people and you know what I'm saying, answer questions and help out the best way I can. Uh, but it's your boy Chris Lee TV. I'm gonna drop this load off and then I'm gonna pick up another load when I uh, untarp this load. I'll, I'll try and show y'all like the lumber. Uh, it's like wrapped up. They put it in paper or whatever. So it's lumber and they wrapped it in paper and then I tarped it. So um, I'm gonna go drop this off. Hopefully I don't melt out here uh, in South Texas, but I'll holla at y'all in the next clip. What's up YouTube? So we're back. Um, I dropped my load off in Laredo and um, my dispatcher abandoned me. He didn't send me a load uh, to get back home for the weekend. So I'm going home. Um, if I would have stayed in Laredo and 107 degree heat, and I would have been idling for like 60 hours, you know, I would have used quite a bit of fuel. So I decided to use that fuel to go home. And my truck is about to region. Um, so I decided to go ahead and use that fuel to take my black butt home. And um, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk about this with him on Monday. Maybe see if we can get a new dispatcher. This is not cool. Um, not kind of abandoning your drivers. Fuel costs too much. Uh, you know, things are way too much on the line right now. I've had these repairs. And uh, you know, I, the right now is not the time to be stuck out in Laredo for the weekend, uh, burning all this fuel. So I'm gonna go home and um, figure it out there. Um, seeing that there's burn marks like right here on my chin, burn marks on my chin. I already knew they were here on my cheek. I've been taking care of my arm. Um, I still need to do some cleaning in the truck, like up there and stuff like that, and like some of these like crevices spots. But everything is, you know what I'm saying, I'm alive. I talked to some of my friends this week, you know, uh, shout out to them, Eric, Tierra, um, and, you know, had some pretty productive conversations. I'm gonna get home and uh, drop this vlog for you guys. Uh, don't forget, uh, Monday on Twitter, uh, we're gonna have a Twitter space about getting your CDL. Uh, so make sure you follow me on Twitter at Chris Lee TV, the number three, Chris Lee TV three on Twitter. All right, uh, it's your boy Chris Lee TV. Hope, I hope you guys stay ten toes down. Until next time, deuces.